taken away from uh, you know what we've shared uh, right now is basically that the people of india are now looking at hard and solid results and not just airy discussions which uh, do not really seem to move anywhere in a specific direction not we're not looking at a headless chicken uh i will now move on to the foreign policy aspect of uh, our discussion uh, so referring to the recent meet of uh, chinese uh, premier xi jinping and russian president putin some foreign policy experts have said that this can be a threat for india uh, in terms of indo russian relations what is your take on that do you agree with the uh, thought or the statement no, no i think that's very i think that's too early to predict that there will be a somewhat of a loss in the india russian relations see we have to accept one thing and jay shankar spoke elaborately about it in a podcast he did with smita prakash i think where he said that the chinese have a certain economic size they have a certain leverage and we have to accept that and there will be countries not just russia we deal with the americans also and just yesterday shreya there was a summit going on in china and you had all the who's in who's of american corporate world prostrating before the ccp starting with tim cook now we are very happy to welcome apple to india but apple is also very happy to do its business in china so china with its by virtue of its economic size is going to attract 99.9% of those countries and organizations and corporations who we will be indulging so this is one thing so our relationship with all those communities will be independent of how they deal with china and let's not forget we are a market of 1.3 billion people the youngest market china is aging faster and that's one of their problems now their consumption is slowing down even though they have a target of 5% growth this year they are not looking to achieve it even the early weeks of fy24 are approaching it's not going to happen so we are also the youngest market on this planet will the american mnc's wanting to ditch us we are going big on our defense would the russians want to ditch us our consumption of oil will also go up will the middle east want to ditch us i'm 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 looking at it in a very simple perspective i don't want to over intellectualize this aspect of uh, geopolitics because the world is changing one thing i totally believe is that we do not have we are not in a world where there are two power centers eventually europe will have to find its feet independent of the nato and they will have to um, emerge as a polit- uh, power center in terms of economics in terms of what they can do for the other parts of the world how they can engage with say africa for instance what is china another power center what is russia perhaps a declining but yet a power center america a problematic society but still a power center what is india another power center so we have to start looking at a world a multipolar world as again dr jay shankar has aptly put two three years ago in his book so in that there will be bilateral arrangements between countries and those same countries would be dealing with other countries who we not may not share the best relationship with but that's what the new world is all about it's not like either you are against us or for us it's like everyone is catering to their own specific interest the europeans are engaging with the chinese at so many levels so many strategic investments i'll give you another example but does it stop from certain countries in europe from banning a tiktok or a huawei no it doesn't americans and chinese they keep talking about decoupling but can it happen it doesn't happen they talk about taiwan nancy pelosi makes a heroic trip and things like that does it happen it doesn't happen the quad another aspect will japan stop trading with the chinese no so i don't think we should really just call it a day for the indo russian relations there are strategic defense partners and when we were engaging with america we did not let go of the russians so no reason to believe that now that the russians are engaging with the chinese they let go of us and anyway you know look at the political positions of both russia and china we can't predict their future 5 years from now but we can do that more safely for say an india or an america but can we do the same for a russia or a china not really Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.